Uh, first, Ukraine, now China with an impeachment inquiry going full steam ahead. President Trump continues to stun. Yeah, he has openly pressed another country to investigate political rival Joe Biden and his son. Tonight, KCMI's Jeff Nguyen joins us with details. Jeff? Well, Susie and Jeff, we have all of that and some breaking news. And late tonight, House Intel Committee Chair Adam Schiff released pages of documents showing text messages between top leaders in the State Department and top leaders in Ukraine. They appear to show a coordinated campaign under President Trump's direct order to pressure Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden and his son in exchange for military aid and a White House visit. It's the quid pro quo deal that Mr. Trump denies he ever had. Now here's a text message from Kurt Volker. He's Mr. Trump's former special envoy to Ukraine. In a message to a top advisor of Ukraine's president, he wrote, quote, heard from White House assuming President Zelensky convinces Trump he will investigate slash get to the bottom of what happened in 2016. We will nail down a date for a visit to Washington. Good luck. It's the latest bombshell in a day that was full of them. China should start an investigation into the Biden. In front of cameras, Mr. Trump called on China to investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. It comes as he faces an impeachment inquiry for making a similar request over the now infamous phone call with the president of Ukraine. Because what happened in China is just about as bad as what happened with uh, with Ukraine. Mr. Trump claims Hunter Biden profited in Ukraine and China because of his father's position as vice president, even though there is no evidence of wrongdoing. I don't so much what the president has to say. Biden dismisses the president's comments while Democrats say Mr. Trump is hunting for dirt to use in the 2020 race. Accepting help from a foreign entity in a U.S. election is a crime. The president of the United States encouraging a foreign nation to interfere again to help his campaign uh, by investigating a rival uh, is a fundamental breach of the president's oath of office. Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson teaches ethics, election law, and the power of the president. It's a huge middle finger to the House Democrats. It's basically saying, I'm Teflon. Come and try me. The move startled Chinese officials who say they don't want to get involved with a U.S. political controversy. The president's public call for China to investigate the Bidens is echoing a request he made during the 2016 election. Russia, if you're listening. He's kind of trying to make the case that well, if I say it enough and I say it enough times in open, then it can't be problematic. And of course, that's not true. Today, Mr. Trump finally opened up to reporters about what he wanted Vladimir Zelensky to do about the Bidens after he refused to answer the question yesterday. Are you talking to me? Yeah, it was just a follow-up of what I just asked listen, you, sir. Listen, you ready? We have the president of Finland. Ask him a question. While in Arizona, Vice President Mike Pence defended his boss while attacking the Bidens. People have a right to know whether or not the vice president of the United States or his family profited from his position. There have been questions about Pence's role in the scandal after he was sent to Poland in the president's place last month, where he sat down with the Ukrainian leader but denied Biden came up. Well, on the first question, the answer is no. And tonight, there is a report from the Washington Post of a new whistleblower. This time, a career IRS official told the paper he filed an official complaint in which he was informed at least one Treasury Department political appointee tried to interfere with the usual audit of the president and the vice president's tax returns. Now, the White House has dismissed the whistleblower's complaint as, quote, flimsy because it's based on conversations with other government officials. Susie. All right, Jeff, thank you very much.